All right, ladies and gents, what's up? It's Mike here. So today we're going to talk about changing the tempo or beats per minute for your GarageBand tracks. I'm going to work with regular song tracks so you can see the actual difference from recognizable songs. So first, open up your GarageBand. Empty project. So now, I'm just going to use a uh, this audio microphone track. Create that. Okay, so that's audio once. Now I'm going to pull in some song. Some random song, no reason I chose this. Lenny Kravitz is, I don't know, kind of old now, I guess. <laughs> but let's listen to that. Okay. So that's at a normal B per minute uh, or a tempo. That's, that's an import tempo, so nothing's changed. Now I want to change a track, so I'm going to bring the second track in. I want to change that. But first, let's make sure it's the same. So, And you can see the waveforms match up as well. Um, so that track's the same. So now I want to change the BPM or tempo on that track. What do I do? So first, I double-click the track, which opens this pane down here. Go over to Track, and click Enable Flex. So that allows you to actually modify the BPM, and it will affect only the track that the flex is enabled on. So let me show you that. So I'm going to change the BPM up here by double-clicking it, and just type in 202. Okay, so that's what I want the BPM to be for this selected track, the second track, right? So let's listen to the first track one more time. Normal speed. Let's listen to the second track. So that's obviously a 202, right? So now, let's say you're into your project and you want to import more tracks and have them be the same tempo, or you want to change the tempos to a higher tempo. Now, here's a problem that exists. Let's say, so I have this set on 202, right? So I'm going to pull in a track now, and I want to change the tempo of this track to 202. So now it's, it's normal. Let's listen to it. Right, so nothing's changed. Now let's say, um, so I'm going to enable flex timing, and 202 is already selected. So let's listen to that. So, oh my god, nothing changed. Bah! Um, nothing changed because we imported the track as 202. So according to this track, the metadata that was attached to this, or whatever it's attached to it, it assumed that the 202 was what it should be imported as, and it makes that the default. Okay, so I'm going to now delete this again track here. Now it leaves me with, are you going to go my way? Which is now, as you, said, as you saw before, it's this track, the tempo or BPM is faster. Right, at about 202. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to change the, the project BPM back to 120. So I'm going to change it to 120 now, and the flex is enabled. Okay, so now this is the normal uh, import. This is what they import as. So they're both, they're both the same. Right, so now I'm going to pull in a track I want to change, say American Woman. So I want two tracks to show you the difference. Now what I want to do is I want to make one of those tracks a 202, 202 BPM, to, uh, the tempo for 202. Now I want the second track to be a 202 tempo. So what I'm going to do is enable flex before I change the project beats per minute or project tempo, before I do that, right? So enabled flex. So now I'm telling it that the import is 120, the import's normal, so any modification I make from 120 will be reflected in the track. Um, as you saw before, it didn't work because they imported it and they thought 202 was the normal. So it would have to speed up from that, which would make everything really fast and not, um, not coordinated. So now, let's change the two, to two. First, let me enable a flex on this one because I want both to be enabled. So I'm going to change it to 202 now. And now let's listen and see what modifications were made. So we know this track was changed. Back to 202. Let's listen to the normal track. You can see the change in that. Let's check out this track. So that's normal. Let's listen to this track now. And that's 202. So you can see how to do it. Um, just make sure my advice, when you're changing your tempo and BPM, and you already have a project that you increase the tempo or beats per minute, um, turn it back to 120. 
uh, disable flex, so unclick this button down here, pull the tracks in at 120, project 120, enable flex, and then change the BPM back to what you want it at. So if it's, you want it to uh, certain tracks at 202, change it back to 202 after you imported at 120. Okay, so I hope this helped you out. Um, until next time, peace.